Chocolate chip cookies, Viagra, and peated whiskey. Nope, this isn't one of those which one doesn't belong brain teasers. It's a list of beautiful accidents. Unintended discoveries which, since launch, have efficiently aroused us. But what exactly is peated whiskey? And how's it different from normal whiskey? Well, like hip hop, it's all in the production. To make whiskey, you need to dry grains. To dry grains, you must burn fuel. If you lived in a marshy wetland hundreds of years ago, you had three options. Burn, A, your clothes, B, your home, or C, these free clumps of special dirt called peat. Peat is found worldwide, like pit bull. It forms after vegetation decays for decades. Fuel seekers dug it, cut it into bricks, and set them ablaze. They realize when peat gets ignited, things get lit. When else can you taste vanilla mm. extract, seaweed, iodine, and bacon fat without requiring medical assistance afterwards? Burning peat produces a funky aroma that transfers loads of biological footprints into the final product. That's why sipping a peated whiskey feels like you're caravanning through a boozy, flavorful wilderness. Peated whiskeys exist on a spectrum from mild to heavy, like hot sauce. Let's say Peter Piper had a petite palate for peat. He might opt for a Bunahaban. His brother Paul, who prefers peatier pours, might try an Ardbeg. Peter might even dare Paul to try a Brucladi Octomore 8.3 Masterclass, the most peated whiskey in the world. So remember, some things we can't live without were never meant to exist in the first place. Roll the dice with peated whiskey, you might get lucky.